everyone, Sophia here from My Great Challenge. Welcome back to my channel. We're back from Ohio and it's time for me to get serious about the renovations and the small projects that I have to do around the house. So I've been procrastinating this basement staircase for so long now. It's time for me to get ready to do it. So stick around. I'm going to put the beam back and redo the stairs. I have to apologize for the noise the um, wash is going on so we're in my basement um, if you remember I had removed the whole thing here that was the uh, bookcase and um, I have a bookcase here now and some decorative item none of this is definitive I was just playing around but here's the staircase so if for those of you who are new to the channel let me tell you what happened we had to buy new washer and dryer and sure enough they weren't making the stairs um, because this uh, the beam was over here so all of this was closed and you couldn't make the turn and actually you couldn't even take out the old machines because the staircase was renovated um, after they had installed the old machines when we purchased the house so they didn't think about leaving space for the stairs so a couple of years ago I painted these steps um, the original color was a maroon which was really not to our liking and well I kind of don't like it anymore so and plus it's gotten damaged over the years so here's the original wood underneath it so what I was thinking of doing today is replacing the beam which is not a support beam it's just a finishing beam um, which used to be right here you can see it's a four by four it used to be right here so we had to take it out to open up the staircase up to just about here okay and I put a temporary beam in the meantime just in case uh, so I'm going to remove that today and I'm going to reinsert the beam but I'm going to reinsert it uh, on the second step so it's going to leave all of this room here which is plenty to move machines in and out and plenty for sofas tables and odds and ends that I keep on bringing or taking out of the basement and then what I want to do is take out all the paint and see if I can refinish the staircase in its natural wood color I think it would probably be um, prettier but again this is a basement it's partially finished you see here there's some areas that are um, sheet rocked right this whole area here and the other the area on the other side However, the staircase very obviously is a basement stairs. It's not finished here on the side. There's a gap, right? And this here is just basically concrete blocks um, that are not very attractive. And I have to repaint this whole area here as well and replace the handrail that used to be here. I was thinking about putting the handrail on this side, but mm, no. Hi, Electra. This is one of my doggies. Okay, so let me get started. I want to see if I can remove the paint. I'm obviously going to have to do one step at a time or every other step over the weekend. Um, I don't know how well this is going to work. You can see here some of the old maroon color um, that was there. The house is almost 100 years old, so we'll see. Oh, here you, here you can probably see the brown a little bit better. It was really not good looking so let me show you the product I'm going to use and I'm going to do this first step here and see whether or not it removes the paint then sand and you know what not and finish the step just see what it's going to look like and I'm going to use this paint and varnish remover um, I'm going to attempt reading the name Mutz and Bockers lift off paint and varnish remover works in five minutes so hmm so I'm going to do a review on this I bought it at the Home Depot it breaks the molecular bond between coating and surface and it's biodegradable water-based Scott is um, doing the uh, back uh, loan. Um, it doesn't smell bad at all. Actually, it smells like orange peels, which is not bad. 
it's supposed to stay on for at least five minutes I'm gonna give it a good 15 minutes and then I'm gonna see if whether or not I can peel off the layers um, I'm not trying to get something that would work faster I'm trying to get something that's gonna work well and not fume up the entire basement that's the reason why I picked up this particular product so I'm hoping let's keep our fingers crossed that this is actually going to work so it's been a little bit out of five minutes the formula is like a gel it's very very thick and you can see here on the edges that it's already kind of peeling off it's doing that little uh, wrinkling you can really see it here that's typical of paint remover and according to the instruction you just use it for five minutes you scrape it off and then if you need to use um, more you can repeat as needed until all the paint is removed and it removes all manner of schlag paint epoxy varnish uh, what else? Uh, anything on cabinetry. The only thing is that you cannot have it on anything that is metal. So if you have hardware or anything like this, you gotta remove your hardware first. Uh, we seven minutes into it, it's making its little shrinking here of the paint. So I'm pretty happy. This looks like it's going to work pretty well. The only thing is that I have um, quite a few steps to do and I don't know if I have enough with one bottle. We we'll shall see. Okay, so it's been 10 minutes. I'm putting on gloves. I have a plastic bag here and some paper towel um, to get the stuff. So let's see whether or not this works. I'm gonna go in the wood grain. Oh wow! Hey, this thing works, you guys. It really does. Uh, except that it's removed the first layer of brown that I did, but. Underneath it is the maroon, so I'm definitely gonna have to put another layer of um, the stripper to attack that maroon color because that's not the natural wood you see underneath. Otherwise, it really works, and I'm happy, and it's fast. choice um, I wanted something that didn't have fumes uh, because this is a kids area this is where I quilt and you know the basement is not as vented as the rest of the house so this uh, most embockers lift off is actually working and it's working fast it does not stink and it doesn't bother my breathing right now so which is great so what I'm going to do since it removed the first layer of the brown paint well actually I think I had two layers of brown paint but the um, maroon that was here before is still on. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put another layer and get the maroon out of the way. Start sanding and everything. You're supposed to wash the area after it's done. I really, really wanna do a thorough job. Um, the color, this is bare wood right here. The color I'm going to pick is probably gonna be this color because this is what matches this um, floor when you walk into my kitchen. It's that um, gun smoke color. It's a very pretty, rich, orangey, a warm um, wood color. So that's the color I'm going to do. And of course, it's going to be polyurethane and everything. Um, so let me go ahead and do that. And then um, when I see you again, I'll be removing that layer. Uh, remove the knickknacks right um, because I'm gonna be banging and stuff and I don't need the frames to fall all of this here needs to be repainted I was actually thinking about putting a sheet rock over it to finish it off because uh, I don't think 
I will ever reopen the staircase. Remember when I closed the staircase? I'll put the video link right here. So you can see that. Because uh, all of this used to be open. I used to have a desk right here. Another one of my crazy idea. And all the dust, the dog hair, and everything was falling on the desk. So I closed this off. Um, and plus the drafts and everything. Um, I don't know, maybe three years ago. Um, but now I still have the um, spindles. I think that's what you call them. The rails or the bars from the staircase. And I was thinking about just closing off this whole area. But if I paint it, um, oh, the dogs upstairs are going crazy. But if I paint it, maybe I can just, you know, make it look prettier. Okay. And I don't know if you see it, but I still have um, the piece of thin wood I have put right behind the bars. So since I'm going to put the beam right here against this one, I need to remove this. So very simple. I'm going to do what I did with the other one. I'm just going to score it right at the edges several times until I can remove it, just like fold it and remove it. I'm going to sand it a little bit so I have less of a rough edge and then I just have to take the old beam, measure how much I need. It's going to go over here, right? Definitely going to um, open up the staircase, which I like. Um, but again, my quilting station is right here, so now i got even more of a draft. <laughs> so I'm definitely going to have to figure out something. Um, I can't put a door because this is underneath the staircase that's um, in the living room. The whole area above this steps, this set of steps is slanted, so I can't put a door. <laughs> um, I can't even put it on the other side at the top of the staircase itself. Uh, I have a gate there to stop the dogs, but anyway, um, I'll have to figure out something. But this is cut and it's exactly flushed with this beam right here and the bigger beam is going to go against it here but I definitely want to send this to make it smooth so that I have a better um and this is some of the yeah because some of the stuff that I'm peeling off right now is the caulk the transparent caulk I had put in to just fill in the gaps before I painted it so I want to remove all of that and have the beam really really flushed with this you can see um, the steps here uh, it's not removing that maroon color because I think that maroon color was a stain and not a paint it's a possibility so it's definitely gonna need to get sanded too all right I have all of this here I don't know if you can see it um, this is that cock thing that I have put so I just need to scrape it off like this This is the old beam um, that used to be here, but obviously it's going to be uh, needing to be shortened because it was on the um, other step. I probably have to remove about 10 inches. Uh, and since it got split a little bit here and split a little bit on the other side, what I'm going to do is measure from 
where I'm going to put it, which is here, all the way to the top of that step and compare that to this beam. And then I'm gonna mark the halfway of that beam and I'm going to remove the same amount on top and at the bottom so that way, um, let's say it's 10 inches, right, um, that I have to cut. I'm gonna cut just five inches on the top here and five inches at the bottom. That's going to allow me to have all of those areas here where it had been toenailed um, removed. So I can use this beam. I don't want to go to the store and buy another beam. Um, I don't have any four by four in the garage. If I did, I gladly would go ahead and use one of those, but I don't um, have two by fours and one by threes and you name it, um, but I don't have a four by four. So that's the only one I have. And I'm gonna also remove all of that cock that I had when it was placed um, at the corner here. So let me measure from here to here, cut that beam, be right back. So Scott is going to cut the beam for me um, while I'm doing the rest of the stuff here. This is what the step looks like after four coats uh, of that a primer, remover, you know, whatever solvent. Um, I sanded it a little bit by hand, but I obviously am going to need this. It's okay. Um, I thought that it did a great job at removing the newest layer of paint that I have but it's having a hard time removing the layer of that color that was there when we purchased the home. Wow. I don't know what he used. Um, it's, it's a different type of paint. So I'm thinking that maybe it's a leftover glaze that he had. Uh, it's very difficult to remove. So I'm definitely going to restore the step with this. I want to bevel the sides here, make them nicely rounded so that um, it looks a little bit better. And then once that's done, I'll put in just one coat of um, the uh, a stain just to see what it looks like. And then obviously I'm going to have to do the rest of the staircase. It's not going to happen today because uh, I still have to put the beam. So I just wanted to give you an idea what it would look like once I remove all the paint. I already like it better in lighter color. My only issue is that is it going to blend with the floor behind me because that's an easy way of missing a step and falling down. So let's see what it looks like when I sand it. This is a very hard grit that I'm using right now. I'm going to switch grits. Um, I'm going to take this coarse one first, then a medium, then a very fine one, just to get it to really, really smooth, almost glass-like surface. standing here to remove all of the um, stuff I had here before because remember the block the uh, pillar was right here right so I had a lot of cork here so I remove all of that just to clean it up nicely and uh, that's about the best I can do um, it's almost to bare wood there's some cracks in here that I could sand further but I don't want to do it um, because I really don't want to damage the wood this, by the way, um, looks to me like it's pine. I don't think it's... Um, looks like it's oak to me. You think it's oak, Willie? Right. I don't know. I Maybe gotta tell you, gross. I think it's pine. I'm not sure why they would put oak on Is the it? basement stairs, but because it feels very, very soft. But, you know, I don't know much about wood, so if you guys Maybe it's know better wood. than me, you let me know what you think it is. Maybe. All right, so I got the hand um, sander. I'm just going over it to really smooth it out. You see that I've done the bevels here on all of the um, 
edges and it feels very nice and smooth. So I'm just going to finish this off with the hand sander and take a damp cloth, remove all of the dust and put one layer of um, stain to see what it looks like. I'm aware it doesn't look like much right now, <laughs> but the pillar is back on. I just have to toenail it. So it finishes off the corner. All of this is going to get repainted. All right. So here is my step, which I'm about ready to stain. And this is about as much as I can do. And it's super smooth right now. So that's good. So that's what it looked like before. And that's what it looks like now. Um, all of this here is going to have to get cleaned too. But I want to secure the pillar um, on the wall here so I'm gonna toenail it so the guys who installed this before when we moved into the house had used deck um, they had used deck screws and the deck screws didn't go all the way in because either they didn't countersink them or for whatever reason I'd rather use a nail um, that's a finishing nail because it's gonna go all the way in and give me the support that I need but at the same time I can just really uh, push it inside the uh, the beam so that way it doesn't show and then you just put a little bit of plaster over it and that's it nothing happens so what I'm gonna do to finish it off not today I'll do that tomorrow uh, let's just imagine for a second that this is a piece of wood let me cut it okay. I'm gonna do a frame like this around it like this and this right and it's just it's a jacket basically and what's gonna allow to do is uh, finish this off a little bit so it looks a little bit better and more finished um, rather than just a stupid beam uh, on the uh, stairs, so just to give it a little bit more of a updated look um, I don't know if it's really gonna make a big, a big difference, but you know what right now the beam is back on It's supporting that little piece of uh, Staircase here, right? So this is back on and again This is uh, just to finish up the staircases. This is not a supporting beam. The supporting beam is over here um, in the middle of the basement that's that big pillar I have in the middle so this is only just here to finish this up and kind of like hold this a little bit but this again doesn't need um, any support because the beam is this way and I believe it's supported right there at the corner of the stairs so I don't have to worry about the house collapsing on me uh, while I'm quilting um, so I'm done with this I'm not doing anything with it today because uh, it's already four o'clock in the afternoon I spent a lot of time on that step uh, it did take a long time, so I foresee it takes about three hours per step, and I have seven left. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna do that this week, you know, behind the camera. I'm gonna work here and there on uh, each step, but for now, I just wanted to uh, stain it the one at the bottom to show you what it looks like once it's stained. And you know, the instep is going to get repainted in white. All of this is going to get repainted in white because this nicks and scratches and, you know, it's it's damaged, right? Um, there's a lot of damage on this pillar here. This was the inner part that was on this side. I flipped it over. Um, and this is when they tried to move the machines down. They kind of like nicked the corners. So this whole thing here probably needs to be sanded down a little bit. 
I'd rather send it when it's installed um, than send it on the horses in the garage. For leverage purposes, it's easier for me to round the corner when it's, you know, sitting and not moving. Yes, I could use clamps, but um, I'd rather do it here. Okay, let me get the stain. Let's stain that step and see what it looks like. Now, to be honest, I don't think that when they installed this, they meant for that stair to be in natural wood and uh, stain. I think they meant for it to be painted. Uh, and I know that because the holes where they kind of sank the um, screws or the nails to attach this to its support are filled with plaster. <laughs> and I can't remove it. So there's going to be, once in a while, a little dot of white. Uh, it's not going to get covered by the stain. And that's okay. No matter what, it's still going to look like almost a brand new stair when I'm done with it. Uh, some of you are probably laughing because let's face it, you have new houses, you don't have to deal with this nonsense like I do, but hey, you know what? I love it. I gotta tell you, this thing is smooth like a baby's butt. Okay, so. Gun smoke, it is. Uh, it's the color I used for the counter and um, the kitchen. It's the color I have on the back entrance floor. Um, I love gun smoke. <laughs> I really do. It's rich. It's uh, it's a, it's not red red. It's um, well, you'll see. It's got an orange in it, but it's a very pretty color. So I'm just gonna go in. And I'm probably going to do several coats. And you're looking at it and you're saying, Sophia, you're painting it exactly the same color you had before. No, I'm not. You'll see. Once it's absorbed. And I'm probably just going to do two coats. I don't need to do more than that. I'm gonna go get a rag, like a cotton rag, old t-shirt rag. I'm gonna remove the excess, let it dry for a little bit, and then add another coat. I really like the color. Do you see the difference? This is, um, I don't know, it just looks richer, more um, more finished than old dingy paint, right? It's just too bad it takes so long to remove all that paint. and. Whatever we put before that, that glaze, it may have been an oil-based pa paint, that's what I think it was. I think he used an oil base. Um, that's what makes it so difficult to remove, because it was really rubbery. Um, anyway, this is absorbing really, really good. I may not even have to remove the excess, so I'm just going to let it sink in. And then I'll just buff it up a little bit and decide whether or not I want to do another coat. So I'll tell you what, dear guys, I'm going to stop here. Um, I'm not going to do the second coat of the stain. Because I still have to do the rest of the stairs, and that's going to damage it eventually, right? So I'm just going to um, stop here, and then tomorrow I'll come back. I'll probably do two more steps, or maybe I'll do all of them. I don't know. We'll see. Um, and then once I have a coat on every single step, then I'll give it a nice little um, steel wool rub just to finish it off a little bit, and then I'll do one more coat of the um, gun smoke over it. I'm loving the look and I tell you what I like the most about it is that you can see the wood grain and design of the wood. It's got, it's, first of all, it's lighter. Um, I can't say it's going to be easier to clean because, you know, with the staircase right here and the back door, every time you open the door, it creates a suction down into the basement. So any dust, dog hair, in the, in the fall, we get fall leaves. <laughs> they just, they kind of like whirlpool themselves down the staircase. So that staircase is always going to be a pain to clean. But I think 
well, no, not I think. I know I like it much better that way, looking like a real staircase. It's it just finishes the room. Um, I can't wait to finish the whole thing, have the staircase done, repaint the wall, reinstall the um, um, rail. Um, I'm thinking about putting it on the other side. I got to think about it. Um, it makes more sense having it on the deeper side of the staircase on the other side where it was before. Um, but yeah, I'm very happy with the progress so far. It's uh, it's going to take some time. So you're probably going to see me in the staircase for another two, three videos possibly. Um, only because it's a long project. It's not like one of those afternoon projects and, you know, one, two, three, you're done. It does require a lot of elbow grease, which I'm not afraid of. So that's good with me and most of the time that's how I roll anyway. I always get myself into some crazy project, but this is not crazy. This is actually, this one makes sense. It looks much better. Um, and I really needed to finish the staircase. So yeah, um, when I'm done with that, I have other things I need to do in the basement. I have uh, some patches that need to be repainted, like when they busted the side of the sheetrock on the other side, trying to get those machines to make the corner. I gotta repatch that. And uh, what else? Mm, I guess that would be it for the basement. I like to do more lighting or figure out something about this area um, for the quilting, but I'm done. So give me a big thumbs up if you like this little video about one of my, you know, ongoing crazy project. <laughs> And uh, don't forget to subscribe right here in the corner if you're brand new. Check out my other videos and DIY projects. Some of them are, I would say, very good. Some of them are, what was I thinking? <laughs> and some of them are somewhere in between, but I do enjoy the process. I, you know, I'm invested 100% in this home and I love doing those things by myself. Um, be so much easier to get a contractor, right? I say, yeah. Could you please, here's a check, please uh, redo the staircase for me, but I like doing it. That's where I get most of my enjoyment. So I don't have, I'm not afraid of work and I get, you know, pleasure out of this. So there you go. I'm happy. You can tell this girl's happy. <laughs> um, anyway, so Saturday night, today's movie night. Um, I'm going to do a quick edit on this video. So you can have it um, before the end of the day. And then tomorrow I'm gonna finish, um, do some painting maybe? Now nah, I gotta do steps tomorrow. And you know what, maybe I'll do both. So that way I can uh, paint while the stuff gets removed. Um, you know, work back and forth, which is kind of what I did today anyway. And then I have uh, a product review to do. And then what else? I think that's it, so we'll see. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.